Hey, what's up guys? It's Nate here. So I've been working on these pieces all day today, those pieces that I primed, and I'll show you exactly what I'm doing. <clears throat> I've watched this, I think I watched it on YouTube or I saw it on Facebook a while back, and it's just, I'm taking uh, some wood putty or wood filler. Let me see if I got it. This right here. This kind right here. And I'm watering it down to like a like a milkshake. I mean it's it drips but it's got it's pretty thick. And I'm covering all the pieces. I've covered every single piece. I don't know if you can see that. You can see where my my screw up happened with the epoxy. How I said it left the little concave little areas. Well, this is filling in all that. This is just one coat. One coat and then I sanded it. And I'm sanding with these little sponges. That way, if you use your hands, you're kind of going to... I've, I've done it a lot of times and I, and I always catch myself doing it. <clears throat> I'll get to sanding with a piece of paper and then one spot is lower than the other because your fingers naturally are going to go in, in a little further. So I use these sponges and it keeps everything flat. And that's how I've gotten, you know, I can still feel a little bit of a, I'll probably, it'll probably take one or two more layers and then sand it off to where it'll be perfectly smooth. And then I can prime it again. And that way I'll be able to tell for sure if all the piece, if all the piece is, is flat. <clears throat> Let me see, I'll show you the other pieces that I've got. So this is what two pieces that I put together. This was a print, and then this was a print. Pieced together with, and I glued them together with uh, CLA glue. And you can see all the little spots that that epoxy, all the little spots that are tan colored are just lower. And that's because I messed up <laughs> and did the two-part epoxy, but I did two parts with the freaking hardener. So I guess uh, I won't do that again. I know that because <clears throat> that other piece that I tested out on, I mean, I probably could have just sanded that and it would have been fine. Maybe one coat of the, the, wood, the wood filler with watered down. But I'm going to go ahead and start doing that. I'm going to cover all these pieces. There's a butt. I'm going to cover all the pieces again and then sand them down. And uh, we'll see how that goes. Anyways, I'll get going here. I'll show you exactly what I'm doing. So I'm just, I'm just putting a coat of it on there like this. Just like that. And I, I watered it down just a little bit more than, than I had it earlier. Just because well, I got it really watery. <laughs> see if you can see this. See, I'm just coating it. It's pretty much painting. And then you can go in. This stuff sands like super easy, so that's why I like using it. If I don't have to use Bondo, I won't use Bondo because Bondo's the first helmet that I did. Uh, I used pretty much Bondo, and that's it. Uh, ever since then, though, I've been using uh, wood filler. So you can just do it like that. Sometimes, if it's too runny, I'll hit it with the blow dryer and dry it off a little bit that way I can work on the other pieces without it running all over like all down in these grooves I don't really want I don't want it to cover up my detail but that's what I'm doing just like that super easy to do I mean it just takes time because then after each layer you got to go back and sand it down again because you're trying to build these build these little crevices up to to the top layer there. And I want it to be super smooth 
before I prime it and paint it because I want it to be like glass when it's done and I put that clear coat on it. And of course after that, then I'm going to dirty it up with some weathering. So, But that's fun for me. I love doing that. So I'm just going to keep on covering this baby. I'm going to cover all these and I'm not going to let you watch me do that because it's so boring. I mean, I'm seriously going to be doing this for who knows how long. But I'll come back and show you what it looks like whenever they're all done, all right? All right, guys, I'm back. I finished putting that uh, filler primer, or not filler primer, goodness gracious, uh, wood filler on all the pieces, covered everything for the second coat. Uh, I'm going to let that all dry. And then I'll come back and sand it again. But uh, I'll show you what they look like real quick. All right. So here we go. It's all the pieces covered up. Oops, sorry. There's the back, shins, biceps, forearms, everything. Thighs. Everything is covered now. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, work on the helmet. I already did one coat on the helmet. Let me set it down here. I did one coat on the helmet already, um, but I need to do another one. Let me show you what it looks like real quick. I think I showed it in the first video or the second video. Uh, this is with one coat of just a wood filler on it. and. I did do on the seams because this I tried to print it in one solid piece but for some reason I, I failed twice like I just I kept having problems so I said forget that I'm just gonna do it and I think I did it in uh, six pieces as far as the main helmet part these other pieces up here are separate prints like this white piece is separate there's another piece underneath that that's separate and then there's the main face and then there's the grill um, and all these little things. I actually have the other ones too. Oh, yeah. These, they go right there and there and then the tubes. the side here. This one goes right there. And this one goes right there. Well there's that. Pretty cool. But I'm going to do another coat of the uh, wood filler on there. Uh, just to I mean, you can tell it's already smooth, and uh, I even did it over the raw print uh, right there, and man, it filled in all those uh, print lines really good. This is going to take a little work on the back here where the, the four, four pieces coming together right there. Um, I'm going to have to do a little, I'm going to have to do some little micro sanding in there. And I'll show you something that's really useful for, especially like this line. There's a, there's a line, if you can see it right here, it goes across the brim. I've been using these little files, these little tiny files for all the little nooks and crannies in there. And it works awesome. It's a lot easier than trying to squeeze some little sanding block or a little sanding thing down in there. We just take that little, the end of the file in there and kind of sand it down a little bit. But anyways, I'm going to fill, I'm going to go ahead and put another coat on here. Let me lower this so you can see. Do a coat on here and that'll be it. I'm just smearing it, smearing it across there because it's filling in all these little spots 
and it sands so easily that I mean I'm not really worried about it. I'm not gonna do it on the on the face though. I might end up coming back with like a small brush like this. This one's nasty, but small brush like this. But I'm not gonna do I'm not gonna do any of the face right now because I wanna I wanna keep as much of that detail in there as I can. And uh, I haven't quite made my mind up yet how I want to do that. I want to use a little brush on it and do some uh, wood filler or, or just just go with the uh, filler primer, like a really light coat of filler primer. Because I sanded those before I attached before I attached this to the main like tub. I sanded all these little pieces, but you can still see some some lines like this one right here. You still see that line, but the rest of it is sanded pretty good. I also printed these grills. Let me sidetrack a little bit there, but I printed the little grills that go on too. But the quality of the, I don't know, I kind of want to do, I kind of want to, I really want to get a resin printer so that I can print that without having to do any sanding or anything to it. But, I don't know. I haven't made up my mind on that yet either. But let's do some of this. And I'll, I'm just gonna go over that little groove, that little groove that I was talking about on the front, on the brim. I'm just gonna go straight, straight over it and then I'll just come back with that little file and, and uh, clean it up. If I actually have anybody watching these videos and you're doing one of these builds, send me a comment or send me a, find me on Facebook. My name's Nathan Ritchie. You can find me on Facebook and uh, send me a message with some pictures of what you're working on so I can see kind of, I like looking at everybody's work too. I mean, I really enjoy doing this stuff or I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be sitting in my shop on a Saturday night talking to a camera. <laughs> also, if you're if you're working on a Death Trooper costume and you want to uh, just you know talk to some people that are also doing it. There's a Facebook page called the, uh, I think it's called the Death Trooper Build Group or something like that. You can find that and uh, get on there. There's so much uh, information on that thing. I've gotten so many, I figured so much out just from being on there. And all the guys on there are real helpful. Guys and girls, I'm sure. Sorry. I'm, I say guys all the time. Don't take it personal, girls, if you're watching. See, there's those print lines. You can see. And it's filling those things in really good. And that's without any, that's without any uh, primer or epoxy or anything. I actually thought about doing epoxy on this, and then I think I got a little scared after I messed up on that. After I messed up with my mixing accident, <laughs> so I just decided to start using the uh, the wood filler. It's a little safer. Because once you put that epoxy on there, I mean, it's, you can't, I couldn't hardly get it off. That sticky, sticky hardener. It's alright though. Because it's all working out pretty good now. Uh, with this 
with this uh, wood filler on, on the pieces, I think it's gonna look pretty good. I actually have my daughter in here, uh, my youngest daughter in here, helping me uh, cover these, the first layer, all these pieces. She helped me uh, paint this uh, wood filler on there. <laughs> Told her I need to make her a cool costume for that she can wear for Halloween or something. I actually have a I don't know if y'all heard of but uh, Hex 3D has a Death Trooper like Death Trooper 3D print files and I actually that's what I started printing before these uh, before for a guy in, in that Facebook group you know messaged me and told me you know hey if you want you know, the most accurate possible, I would go with these, these files from TDK Props, uh, Tom Campbell's files. Um, but I have the, I just about printed, I'd say probably 80% per of the, excuse me, 80% <coughs> of the Hex 3D files. And I have those sitting over there. So I could probably make her a little costume out of, out of that. That'd be kind of cool. I do think that whenever I get done, well, not all the way done with this helmet, but uh, here pretty soon, I think I'm going to epoxy the inside of the helmet. I might even fiberglass it, I don't know. But just to, because right now it's just, you know, thin plastic and I, I want the helmet to have a little weight to it. Uh, I just, I don't know. I like them to feel like, like a real helmet does, you know, like a bike helmet or something, motorcycle helmet. Next video, I'll show you all my my first helmet that I did, it was a, not a shore trooper, a sand trooper, which is a storm trooper, pretty much. Um, I did a storm trooper helmet, the first one, and I, I found like some, like a paper file online and folded it. It took me like two days to fold that stinking thing and piece it all together and then I covered it in resin and ended up fiberglassing the inside. It's probably not <laughs> the most screen accurate Stormtrooper helmet, but it's pretty cool. I ended up making the whole the whole costume, uh, the whole Sand Trooper costume out of uh, EVA foam too. I'll show you all that. I'll bring it in here and put it on my naked mannequin so that uh, it's not naked anymore. Anyways guys, I'm gonna finish doing the sides here on this and uh, probably gonna go inside and watch Netflix or something and relax. But uh, I appreciate you guys subscribing. Uh, all you guys that have subscribed and and the comments that I've gotten and messages on Facebook and stuff, uh, I appreciate that. And, uh, I mean, like I said before, if y'all have any questions, I'm not like, I'm not an expert or anything. I mean, I'm a graphic designer. I do uh, product photography and graphic design for my job. But this stuff just, uh, it's kind of my getaway, I guess, on the weekends. Um, I don't know, it just kind of relaxes me. 
working on these kind of things. And it's fun. But if y'all have any comments or you have any questions, uh, hit me up. Uh, I'm always around a computer. And uh, I'll help you out as much as I can with if I know. You know? If I don't, I'll help you figure it, figure it out. But uh, I appreciate you guys. And until next time, next time I think I'm going to do... I'll probably sand these, show y'all what it looks like after I sand them, and then uh, I might hit a couple of them with some uh, filler primer just to see if, if all the little uh, crevices and stuff are filling in really good. And then we'll just go from there. And the next process, or the next thing to do after that is is to uh, prime it for paint and then uh, start painting. But it's going to be like super cold in Texas where I'm at in uh, this next week. So I don't know if I'll be able to paint then or not, but I'm sure I'll, I'll find something. I'll find something, but stay tuned for the next video. I'm going to show you guys my helmets that I've done, and then I'll show you my uh, sand trooper costume and helmet that I, the first one that I made. All right, guys, y'all have a good one.